Yes, you there. This is a library. So be silent. You over oh, that's right. I am looking at you. This is a library. This requires you to shine my torch at you. Final warning. Be quiet. Okay. Oh, to apologize. Shining my torch in your face. Uh, is that okay? I don't make a noise. This is a library where we are nice and quiet here. Don't even think about it. Don't think about it opening your mouth there, okay? Or I will keep shining this torch in your face. This is the be quiet torch. And when I shine it in your face, that means that you, you must be quiet. Well done. say about talking. This is a library. This is a place where we read. We do not discuss. We read in silence. out. What's the word? 
undesirables like you. How dare you attempt to want to say something to me? You don't say that to a librarian. No, no, you certainly do not. Especially when you wish to collect the books over there. No, we don't uh, consider that library etiquette, I'm afraid. Okay, so let me just go back to my library work here. So the occasional <clears throat> all the familiar things to make you feel comfortable at a traditional library. Yes, I know, of course, right. Just keep your voice down for me, right? That requires you to speak very softly very carefully for me and very quietly can you do that for me oh my god i have to keep shining this at you you can do it for me i know you can normally with libraries what we do if you want to take out books then usually there's some form of offering in here. I must say, my usual customers, dare I put it like that, they give modest generations and uh, donations to the library, and this ensures that all of the knowledge is um, stored safely here and looked after in the library, or returned, books are returned. Uh, if not, then I give a personal visit with me and my friend uh, Mr. Crowbar and we uh, collect the books back and they just like to come down here and know that this library is an established institute that has been here for generations and you won't find a finer library anywhere containing all the books that you could possibly think of even the books that shall we say illiterate people like you uh, probably would like to I say look at rather than read, okay? I mean that in the very loosest of terms. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, uneducated. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so they come here, read their books, they flick through all the pages, flick through it all, and they have a great time, relax. I've had so many of the customers, uh, well, the shop owners who come round here and uh, probably busy and tired from serving people like you. Oh, is that a new suit you've got there? Oh, I do pity the suit shop. Oh dear, tut tut. A suit and a game bag. What kind of person are you? Oh dear. Well, as long as you've got it in this area. Well, no doubt that those owners will be back in here later on and they'll be able to relax for him to serve someone like you. Okay. I can be as loud as I want in my library, don't you dare even give me that look like I'm being too loud. Okay. Right, so what are we are going to do then? You are taking out all of these books here. You know there is a limitation which you have 100% disregarded. 
okay but seeing as I don't remember seeing you at this library before I think I would remember someone like you definitely someone like you though sometimes I might have uh, missed the occasional one but because of that reason alone I'm going to lend you these books and it will give me great delight to come and have to visit you personally with myself and Mr. Kurubar uh, to collect these books if they are not returned, though you do have two weeks to enjoy them, flick through all the pages, try to read whatever you can, be enlightened, have fun, relax, do whatever you want with those books, make sounds with them, I don't care what you want to do with those books, but as long as those books come back to me here, in the library. That is the main priority here. Okay, so can you indeed swear an oath that will validify that statement there? Excellent. Well, I tell you what, I will get behind here and we can start stamping all of your books ready to go. Okay, so whilst I'll do this, we'll go and do it together. If you can just not put off any of our usual readers. Okay, so if you notice down there, there's one. Thank you. And over there. Okay, can you see just over there? Yeah. Okay, don't disturb the rich looking people. Okay, they look like very high up there in society, just don't disturb them. I can because they know that I too am an incredibly important person and they know that uh, this probably is a great deal of effort, of effort to talk to talk to you and, you know, try and sort you and arrange some books for you to probably not even read, but still, we'll go through, we'll stamp all of your books and if you can keep with in the general ambience guidelines of this library that would be so great okay if you, if you could just do that for me what that usually entails is that a lot of people fall asleep and get a little bit relaxed but don't get too relaxed just the perfect amount of relax and we can get through this swiftly you can take out your books to loan from the library and what i like to call establishing uh, a nice relationship between library owner, library reader, right? Once you connect all the pieces in there, then I'm sure we could be the firmest of friends. That's not an opportunity for you to speak. Thank you. Your silence is well welcomed. Right, so as I walk behind the desk here, the main desk, can I trust that you won't steal any books as I make my way over there? Brilliant. Off I go to get your books. Excuse me down there. Excuse One second. Excuse me down there. Would you mind just ever so quietly. Thank you so much. Thank you. I said do not talk. I will begin with stamping your books for you to take away. So this really won't take long to do. Just try and stay with me here. I know it's a very relaxing environment around here, but we don't want to make too much noise for everyone. Does that make sense to you? Okay, so everything in hushed tones for me. Please keep it nice and hushed for me. If you think you want to speak hushed tones, a thought is arising. Should that occur in you? Harsh tones. Thank you. So, this is the 
stamp which I'll be using to sign off this plethora of books you have selected online and how modern of you to go online to to ask for all of these knowing probably you wouldn't actually be served all of these books in store well yes very clever of you conspiring against your library that you think people of this area would probably read and like. It is most admirable if you are trying to do something like that, of course. I mean, if you're trying to fit in, then of course that is admirable, I think. It is uh, worth a little bit of praise, though the fact that you planning on doing it to trick someone into thinking that you are, shall I say it, one of us, well then I cannot condone such an act of librarian treachery.
noticed that some of them haven't actually been opened yet, have they? No, so you would be the very first to read all of these. Yeah, we will pop that there. So let me get the first one open here, yeah. so we can have a good look. This is one of our prized books here at the library. Not often lend this book out. I don't know how you managed to get through the system there, but it must be on there for a reason. Though if you do anything with this book, if it doesn't come back in the exact same condition which it left, then of course I would uh, most certainly love to come collect one of your items, personal items, okay, and, um, and ruin it. So please look after this book. And be careful, I, I recommend wearing gloves. Something you might notice if you're familiar with the works of Tolkien. So you, you do know a little bit then. Okay, what about the new office as well? As this appears to be signed by quite a lot of people uh, in McKellen, uh, Peter Jackson, uh, Orlando Bloom, um, all of the cast on here, uh, quite a collection there, so if that is a brute in any way, shape or form, then of course, <laughs> there will be a little bit of trouble, just, just a little bit of trouble.
fascinating book, really, if you're interested in movie production and the idea behind the notoriously known and, uh, well, heard of The Art of Storytelling and Making a Modern Epic. And this focuses around the film Star Wars. So if you profess yourself to be someone who is eligible to create stories and think things up, that's an act where you use your brain to, I don't know, imagine things, new ideas, you know, something off your own cuff that uh, that makes you an original, okay, and not a copycat or anything like that, yeah. Yeah, and if you are capable of something like that, then you do something with it. And uh, this book kind of uses that philosophy. Okay, another big word there. <laughs> yeah, the philosophy. Yeah. Please don't attempt to uh, pretend like you know how to pronounce it properly. Okay, you don't need to impress me. Right, so this is quite relatively new book here. So that there I'll give you the stamp off. So remind you, a lot of the books here in the library, they retain a certain a scent, a certain smell. We require that all these books come back with that smell intact. So if you consider yourself, you know, someone of, shall we say, uh, not the cleanest of natures, someone who neglects the, the pleasure, subtle pleasure of using water to bathe oneself or, or clean an area upon which you live, then I highly recommend that you don't take these books, okay? If, if you think it's going to tamper with the, the smell of these wonderful books here, okay, we like to retain that for our customers and they can be reminded that it is come from the very best of libraries, okay. Right. Ah, so, what have we here? So, once again, you appear to be interested in... Movies, movies again, then. And, uh, just open that up. Check all the contents of this book and uh, you planning on going somewhere are you? <laughs> let's just pop that back in there and uh, a lot of the customers in here they're of course highly important people famous people you know all of those things uh, we did have one coming in and this one is uh, signed by the actors Warwick Davis and uh, he has signed this book so please do be careful with it just a little treat for our customers okay another very brand new looking book I thought this was a joke but you are 
actually ask for a magazine in there. So is this the type of thing that you're reading? Well, considering uh, how I perceive you at the moment, I would say that would be too far-fetched. So we just throw that in there for you and uh, you can just dispose of it as you wish. Great. Excellent. Uh, interesting book here as well. So, yes, another wide variety of, of interests you appear to have. I find it highly unlikely that you should have any interest whatsoever in pretty much anything. Okay. let alone having to look at you in this library at the moment. So I suggest that, just please, like I said, you know the motto, hushed tones, or don't speak at all. Preferably, don't speak at all. Then we will get along just fine. I do apologize about that. <laughs> we have bit of a life one over here. How's your book? Perfect. Perfect. Anything I can get you? No? A cigar? Drink? No. Well, please do. Let me know if you wish to have something. Great. No. No, 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 no. no not you. No, not you at all. You're just a uh, collect and, and go. This is a takeaway of a book. Experiences for you, okay? This is, these are takeaway books. Okay, 
this certainly looks the part, but you do not. So, I'm sure you're not doing it, I'm sure, of course. Just 
make sure I've got the change in return date on there as well. Excellent. So these these are complimentary for you. Okay, we'll just pop all of these here for you. bring their servants in to uh, take their books back from them. A lot of the shop owners, they have also something similar uh, as well. They like to read the leisurely, shall we say, in between their appointments for various things and other things of importance around here. So we all like to look after each other and I try to help them with that. With you on the other hand, good luck with carrying all of these. Let me get that for you. That is quite a heavy collection there. Have you got Walk. Great. A little bit of a distance, have we? Oh, uh, I'm sure you'll be perfectly fine with these incredibly heavy books that you are not going to damage in any way, shape, or form. I can trust that you will do that. Okay. My crowbar is located under the desk here. It hasn't gone out for visit before, but there's always a first for everything. So I look forward to seeing all of these books returned okay in precisely the condition that they have been lent that is the policy of this library right let me bring them around for you and now you can take the books there's kind of a, a little bit of a distance policy here where i decide if i want to come close to certain individuals and and you do not fit the category of an individual in which I would like to get close to. Does that make sense? Right. Well, I would recommend a couple of things. When you leave this library full of books, you, I mean, obviously people usually take a couple, but um, greedy people like you seem to take an abundance of books, hence why I believe you are not reading them. In fact, you are just showing them off to someone to try and fit in a little bit here. You could shake your head as much as you want. I will not believe you. Okay, so I will recommend uh, two things. Uh, to wear gloves when you read the books, okay? And then that ensures we get no fingerprints or none of you goes on to the book. And I'm sure if it was vice versa, I'm sure none of the book would want to go on to you, okay? Books are quite sensitive like that from this library. Also, when you are walking your way back home, or wherever you are going, taking these books, I recommend that you go at a nice slow pace. A heavy selection of books like that will be prone to be full of you falling over and prone to being damaged, okay? That is undesirable for this library. And usually we would offer complimentary bags or someone here to help you uh, take that back to wherever you want. But I would not like to offer you that service because I don't really know you until we've just met today, okay? So maybe if you come back to the library, then next time you might have a little bit of a perk. You could tell me a little bit about the books or something, or I don't know, dress like you want to read a book or come to the library to relax and I don't know, sit by the fire or something, or, or talk about educated things with other people, but in the designated areas, not in the main part of the library. Please, I know that you are leaving, but you do not need to open that mouth of yours and say anything. This is library, okay? Reading. 
plenty of reading, no talking. Great. Well, I hope that you enjoy all of your books and your time here was satisfactory. Usually I'd prefer to be more than satisfactory, but I'm not too concerned with your sense of satisfaction. That's not acceptable. Great. Well, it was, I don't know, it was okay to meet you, make your acquaintance. So I hope that you got all the books that you wanted, you enjoy reading them, and you enjoyed to come and see me here at the library, and it was, of course, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. It really was. Thank you so much for coming to this library, and please be sure to return again. Please be sure to do that. But of course, if you don't return again, then uh, I'll be wanting to see those books again, so you know the policy here at the library. It's not my policy, it's just the library's policy, so please bear that in mind. Anything else I can help you with? It was a trick question. Turn around, take your books, enjoy. Take care, cheerio. Don't worry, I will shine the torch for you there on your way out. Just follow the light. Just keep following the light. Watch yourself down there.